All right, so it's been 11 years since my last competition. I competed in the Arizona OCB drug tested show and I met some awesome people. Competition was top tier. I brought my best to the stage. I was super stoked about that. And man, for reference, the last time I competed, men's physique wasn't even really a category. And so it's been a while. I have had this competitive itch. However, life has taken me in so many different directions in the past decade, you know what I mean? Just life, family, marriage, kids, responsibilities. I'm in my mid thirties now and something just clicked. And I wanna let you guys know that I'm gonna be competing again, but curveball, it won't be in bodybuilding. I'm gonna give my first powerlifting meet a chance. I'm smiling, I'm super excited to make this happen. I don't know what it was, even just a few weeks ago, I would have never really thought this was gonna happen. Um, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna challenge myself. It's something more concrete, more quantified, more numerical. Like you, you, you just put up the numbers or you don't. And I love that about it. So another thing is from my limited experience with powerlifting, everyone I've met in that world has been awesome. The community is extremely supportive and I'm, I'm humbled uh, by you know what it takes to reach certain strength levels. I have such a respect for strength athletes after the last few months of training. And I just wanna go out there and do my best, have a really good time, have a really good experience, and you know share it with you guys and maybe motivate you guys to do something uh, despite responsibilities stacking up and life taking over. You gotta keep that you know competitive spirit alive. So I'm looking forward to it. It's looking like September 22nd is gonna be the date, so it's coming up, uh, Sacramento, California, if you guys are around. And another exciting thing is that I will be teaming up with a good longtime friend and world record powerlifter, Joe Sullivan, to help me with my programming. Um, and I'm also gonna get him out there to be there with me for competition. I'm super stoked about this. Um, thank you for everyone you know who has helped me along the way, either through motivation or like actual technical help and shit like that. I'm constantly improving. I'm still a baby in this. Um, I hope to you know keep just learning and improving brick by brick as I always say. So let's get it. Super stoked for this. It's going to be the uh, WRPF Submasters 35 to 39 class and most likely the 90 kg weight class which is 198 pounds. So I don't plan to be cutting much for it. Um, overall just want to go out there, feel good, perform good, um, meet some awesome people, learn some things and just have an overall great experience. So I'm excited to share this journey with you guys. I will stop rambling. Let's get to work. What's good guys? Uh, it feels so weird. Like I would do this on IG, but the fact that I know it's for YouTube is just crazy, nostalgic. I hope you guys are gonna follow along. You know I've never been about the fancy edits and shit, but we keep it real around here. I'm really excited. Today marks a special day. It's day one in my training for my first powerlifting meet. I got Joe Sullivan, good friend, world record powerlifter, uh, doing my programming for it. It's really nice to have a coach in over the first for the first time in over 10 years um and before you know it was actually bodybuilding so this time it's powerlifting so it's going to be interesting um looking forward to it i have a lot of stuff in this program that is stuff that i don't normally do and so that's really exciting uh also slightly nerve-wracking because i just want to stay healthy throughout the process but thankfully uh things seem pretty strategic uh there's a lot of you know dynamic warming up going on um so in addition to the movements that I don't normally do, there's also, you know, progression to it and preparation for it. So I want to keep the joints and ligaments safe, but I also want things to be different and aggressive enough to make good progress in the next, you know, 12 weeks or so uh, prior to the, to the meet. Important thing here is that it wasn't under normal circumstances to get my session in this late today. It's kind of the afternoon time. I normally train late morning. Um, had to do like a family trip to the zoo, took the kids there, you know, Mason met up with his cousins and we did all that and that was fun. So got a little bit of cardio in earlier and now we're gonna go get this workout in. Looking forward to day one. The reason that I just kind of jumped into this, this prep for this meet is because I decided I wanted to do it, but then I also decided that I wanna do it before baby number two arrives. And baby number two is due at the very beginning of November. November. So I decided to do this meet at the end of September so I'm not like cutting it too close to baby's due date. And that way, you know, Kels could be there maybe and support, and, you know, I'm just not too focused on, you know, her popping at any time and baby, you know, coming early or whatever. So if you guys aren't aware, the, the meet date is September 22nd. It's a drug tested uh, competition day. And 
I'll be competing in the Submasters 35 to 39 age class, which is dope because I will have just turned 35 like a couple months before the meet. So I registered for that class. And I'll be in the 90 kg weight class, which is the 198 pound weight class. And that's kind of where I hover around right now, just for you know for a couple months now, I've just been hovering around there at the best body composition I've ever had at 198. So like, it's weird for me to have, like, have abs at that body weight because before it wasn't that way. I think it's because I've been taking my training a lot more serious. But looking forward to day one, I won't keep rambling. Let's see how much filming I can get done in the gym. I don't know if it'll be much, just depending on how busy it is because my gym gets busy AF. All right, so we just got some monster walks in for warm-ups. Basically five rounds of monster walks. We also did some, what was it? Cross knee lunge holds and uh, underhand lat pull downs for some lat activation drills. And we did five rounds of that. Lat activation for squats actually. And then now we're hopping into squats. We'll do five second eccentrics with a one second isometric pause. Busy ass gym, I don't normally come at this time, so that's part of the reason why it's taking so long, but it's the craziest day one of the program I've ever had. Um, I'm about three hours in, almost done. Just finished up Katana tricep extension, which is kind of like a cross, like a cable cross uh, tricep extension behind the back. Um, now I'm moving on to uh, dips mixed with push-ups. Um, just kind of going back and forth for three sets, calling it a day. It's crazy, um, super overall taxing. I could tell my triceps are gonna be absolutely destroyed. I was also like popping blood vessels during my squats because of the amount of just um, bracing that's required for the five second sensors and the pause at the bottom. Um, rear delts are super uncomfortable because it's, it's just me starting on low bar squats for the first time in like 10 years of doing it. Overall, getting through it, I'm trying to push through it. I know a lot of these things are gonna be uncomfortable, but as long as it's not like borderline injuring me, I wanna push through it and get as much as I can and just start lighting it up right out the gates. Just left the gym um crazy crazy a little over three hours um pumped through it i overshot what i thought i was going to be able to do on my hammer strength presses on my katana cable cross extensions and even like dips and push-ups everything became harder because it was like compound fatigue it's just day one but i feel like if i can get through sessions like this for weeks and weeks and weeks it's going to be awesome it's going to lead to something great I already know, like I've been lifting for a long time and this type of training expectedly gives me a higher level of respect for strength athletes who like take their shit seriously. Um, shout out to Joe for programming things um, super detailed for me um, and looking out for me literally on a daily basis, you know, adjusting the program on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. Um, I can't wait for what's to come. That shit was crazy. I already told him though, like as long as I'm not borderline injured, let's keep pressing. Um, time frame is a little bit limited, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Day one in the books. Feels good. What's good, guys? Uh, I should probably start filming like landscapes instead of portrait. I'll get this down. Um, we'll be making improvements, but 
Uh, two sessions in to week one on the PL training and it's feeling good. Right now, um, I'm on my way actually to the dealership. I gotta do something with the car uh, and then do some client work and stuff. But I wanted to give you a quick update on how things are going. I didn't get to film anything from day two. It wasn't too exciting. At the next light, turn it was, left. <clears throat> it was really like restorative stuff. It was shoulder uh, posture stuff, according to Joe. Um, you know, we activated the legs a little bit, did a lot of like lat activation stuff as well. Um, kind of like a refresher. That way we can go into the next two sessions this week, um, hopefully refreshed. So, something I've noticed um, <clears throat> right out the gates At the light. is the, the way that I feel after doing like a lot of movements that I don't typically do. I thought I was gonna be like super sore, like tender to the touch sore on certain muscles and that's definitely not the case. It's just more like overall like taxed, you know, like CNS kind of taxed. And it's not like it was anything insane um, on that day one, but it was enough to where, you know, it's like shifting my body into like a, what the fuck is this kind of thing going on. Um, so just adapting to that, uh, <clears throat> feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling ready for, you know, day three and four this week. We're, we're cutting it short at four days instead of five this week for a couple of different reasons. Uh, we'll ramp it up probably to a five, a five day a week thing soon. And I'm excited for it. I just want to keep the joints and ligaments safe. Like I said before, uh, I'm going to see if I can get some more footage for, you know, the, the next couple sessions, which we'll probably have a little bit more to them. And yeah, I don't even know what the fuck else I'm doing right now, but I'm vlogging. So. At the next light, turn left. Yeah. Country music just fucking hits. Be honest. Once it became a little bit more pop, more mainstream. We're off to session three of four for week one on our training. sweating after the dynamic warm-up feels good to get in motion in a functional way it's just hot as hell but um this has been the norm and so blood flow's going i feel like small things make a big difference when you start stabilizing things that you haven't in the past at least that's the hope so i'm not going anything you know crazy heavy but I'm trying to do everything with intention starting with the dynamic warm-ups guys to let me know like uh, one of the big reasons why I just <laughs> randomly started posting is so many people have been telling me that like they they miss the old school YouTube stuff where it's literally just like this 
um, and there's not fancy editing, there's nothing, it's just like people just being real and raw and just posting that shit up because that's, you know, it's the most relatable thing and you guys know if you've been following for a long time, that's how it always has been around here um, and then the whole YouTube thing and just started getting like saturated with like drone footage and like HD shit, it's like bro, I bought fancy cameras and I just never used that shit, it wasn't convenient, I didn't know how to use it, it just wasn't my vibe and I felt like I was just trying to like follow that same path and then that was just so off-putting and I just didn't feel like doing that shit so I didn't you know so you know being able to literally just like rely on the iPhone shit and just talk to you guys like this it almost feels like we're just FaceTiming you know so if you guys vibe with this let me know if it's something that's kind of boring um, or you think there should be something more added in um, or you want more training footage or more life footage or whatever it is. I want you guys to help guide me like what direction to go in. And obviously I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to like vlog every fucking thing in my life and not keep anything, you know, private. But, um, I, I, I obviously want to do this to, you know, to, to bring you guys along the journey and, and, and make it entertaining and stuff. Cause ultimately that's what YouTube's for. Um, so and obviously educational and help you guys however I can too. So if, if that's something you want to, like I can help you guys out too. Like if you want more technical help or like more reasoning for why I'm doing what I'm doing or if you just, if you just have like questions or whatever, let me know. Um, I'm listening to you guys. I'm reading the comments and uh, it's just crazy to me that I'm on YouTube here. So anyway, I'll shut up. Uh, guide me, help me. Let's do this shit together. Bring back the old, hashtag bring back the old YouTube.